Well, everybody, it's almost Friday, so there's still time for a little classwork. Let's uh, head out to Mr. Hall in today's Schoolhouse 7 lesson. Good morning and welcome back to Schoolhouse 7. This week we've been talking about strong body, strong mind. Yesterday we heard from Coach O'Hare out in Eden about the importance of drinking water, but he also said that getting sleep is extremely important. So today we're going to back him up and we're going to talk about circadian rhythm. Let's get started. Now I know that sounds really complicated, but it basically means the physical, mental, and behavioral changes that follow a daily cycle in life. Light and darkness in our environment make us do things like sleep at night or awake during the day. Circadian rhythm is why babies naturally fall asleep at night and wake up during the day. But we all don't sleep like babies, so we need help. Why don't we all sleep like babies? It's because of light. And if you don't turn the lights off eventually throughout the day, you really don't get into the circadian rhythm. So things like sunlight, blue lights, and cell phones, and tablets, and artificial light, and lamps, fluorescent lights, all go into your eyeball. They're processed by the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus signals the pineal gland to produce what's called melatonin. Melatonin, quite simply, is a natural substance produced in the pineal gland in the brain that helps the body sleep. So when you are looking at light, you're not going to be getting melatonin so that means you will not be sleeping now let's check out the circadian rhythm so here's what i'm talking about say you wake up at six o'clock in the morning 7 30 melatonin starts you know going away so you're not sleepy anymore you maybe get in the shower go to the bathroom then by 10 a.m if you follow a normal pattern you're usually at your high alertness stage then noon comes and your coordination kicks in the best at 2 30 then you have the fastest reaction time later in the afternoon you're strongest with your muscles by 5 p.m and then after 6 p.m you start getting tired you start the day starts winding down that's when melatonin the thing that helps you sleep begins to discharge again then after mid Midnight, you get into your deepest sleep and your lotus body temperature. So this is the time you should be sleeping, guys. You should not be up doing things like staying on your phone. You need your sleep to grow your brain. So turn those lights off. Turn your tablets and your phones off. Grab your favorite pillow and grab your Build-A-Bear that you've had for five years and keep reading, keep writing, and most importantly, be safe. You can find out more. Email J Hall from Schoolhouse Seven, J Hall Buffalo at gmail.com. I feel so much smarter every time one of Jay's segments work. 